Start us off, B. Um. Hello! <laughs> I don't know what to say, I panicked. Well, hello, it's a great way to start. So you, you smashed it there. Yay! Boom! Hello, Miss Jones, welcome back to the Guy Podcast with me, Dan, Chris, and Rebecca. I am Dan. <laughs> me, Dan, Chris, and Rebecca. Me, Chris, and Rebecca. Hello. Uh, we're doing yet another bracket because I have an addiction. Hello. Rebecca. Becca. BB. B. And Chris is stuck on repeat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Shalom. Shalom. Uh, yes, we're doing another bracket, and today Shalom. is an amazing bracket we can all Shalom. we can all pitch into because we've all seen them all. Ah. Two of us have seen all of these. One of us has seen seventy-five percent of these. Uh, it's it's the we're going to determine the the greatest MCU film of all time. But to be fair, Hello. it won't be of all time because there's a few films on here. That's, That's not on here. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's not every MCU film. This is just a bracket we found. So we're going to decide the greatest MCU film of all time on this bracket. Yeah, that makes sense. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And the rules are normal. You know, we made Chris trying to decide. Uh, and I can counteract it. We can counteract it. If we, if we, we, yeah, never do we she I never panic. does because I panic. <laughs> if B and Chris disagree and we can't see each other, it goes to B and she decides. B is basically... But if you can't decide of these two, I already know a winner. <laughs> you can't have your own bias streak. I'm not being biased, I swear. Uh, no, it's okay, yeah, uh, you, you, that wins. I think you'll agree. Um, <laughs> yes, it's, it's the only Chris. I'm going to spark up the fight. We've got a hot beverage. Should we decide the greatest MCU films, according to this bracket, of all time is... Yes. Let's start. Let's Roll over start. to our, our host and our judge and our decision Excuse maker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Uh, so we've got Thor and Guardians Volume 1. So this is four. Thor 1. 1. Oh, Guardians and 1. Do you want to say what you think first? I can't roll up with a doll. Jesus <laughs> Christ, mate. Uh, well, you get introduced to Where four. Where it means Jane. Yeah, it means Jane. It's Jane. All that uh, stuff gets taken away. He fights the Destroyer. He gets his powers taken away from him. Yeah, we get to meet Hawkeye. There's a lot of desertness going on. It's in a small Thor little tries town. Thor to have a bath and can't pick it up. Yeah. Then there's a giant metal man. The Destroyer. That's the one that tries to kill <laughs> Thor because... Loki sent it. Yeah, Loki. You find out about Loki being a frost giant. You get to see about the frost giants. I barely remember Yeah, you get to see Asgard. It's the first time the MCU really took it's it out. It's been a while. Of Come on, eh? The, the, the play. It's been a while. It doesn't matter what you think of Thor because Guardians beat it Guardians anyway. Win yeah, Guardians <laughs> wins anyway. Uh, I think that, yeah, Guardians Galaxy was just fucking beautiful. Yeah, it's so enjoy Guardians. It's got a great soundtrack as well. Ooh. It does. Mm. Ooh. It does. Are we ready for the next one that Dan's got? We are ready! I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ant Man and the Avengers Age of Ultron. Ooh. Oh, uh, both amazing films. Yeah, so amazing. Ant Man's like more humorous as well, isn't it? Yeah, but Age of Ultron gave us Vision and Ultron, but Ant Man was amazing because Ant Man gave us giant Thomas the Tank. It did, <laughs> and it, it gave us our first microscopic battle. It gave us a battle so epic and massive to our naked eye, you couldn't even tell what was going on. No, but it was so massive and huge. Like the way they cut out, they'd be like, Bruh, loud noises, and they're just quiet. But the edge of Ultron was good. There's no strings <laughs> on me. Oh, it's, oh it's, I'm sorry, it's Edge of Ultron for me. Awesome. Yes, <laughs> so he comes out like this. Ulysses Claw, played by Andy Serkis. Wow. Oh, we're agreeing. Two for two, we're agreeing. Spider Man Homecoming. Mm -hmm. And uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Right. The Winter Soldier's fucking outstanding. That elevator fight scene. Oh! He fights um, G uh, GSP, a real UFC fight on the boat. Oh! But Spider Man Homecoming, seeing him with Stark and get the vulture in our first friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Like, so... No, thank you. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> he turns it down. <laughs> it's just, and it, it, it helps you love Spider Man that little bit more, and you're not really a Spider Guy. 
I'm going to have to say Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm going to have to say Spider-Man. Oh, <laughs> but why, Chris? Don't just go off my shit. I'm not going off your shit. Okay, good. <laughs> Tell me to fuck off if needs be. I'm just going off because it, it was the <laughs> first Spider-Man I actually got to like. Yeah. I didn't like the rest. But Winter Soldier was brilliant. I like the Amazing Spider-Man. Nah, no, I didn't like them. But I prefer these two. Tom Holland freak over here. Not as much as me. I just want to like bundle him up and put him That's what I say! Well, I want to cuddle him up. Mm. That's just weird. We've got Avengers and Black Panther. So just like the first Avengers. I've spat enough uh, shit. Avengers, Go for it. Black Panther. Well, I'm going to say Black Panther because I reckon the fucking fight scene, middle towards end, it was epic. And I got to meet some new characters who were new to me. And who's <coughs> under forever? <laughs> and Wakanda forever uh, I'm going to say Black Panther I'm going to have to say Avengers Black Panther was fucking Michael B. Jordan's another one that I just want to lick that chest muscle I couldn't really like intervene on any of his yeah, talents yeah. in Black Panther yeah uh, well Avengers though it was the first real film for me to be the first film to bring a lot of individual films together in one it is. It, it's like, because obviously they were in the shared universe, we acknowledge you, we knew what the crack is, but this is the first time on us. Like, all these other films have come to this point here. This kicked it off. Our first Avengers team up where they all get down the middle, Tony jumps down, the camera pan around, they're ready, the Shatari attacking. We get Loki back, we get a look at, we get a, a small little glimpse Okay, this is the start of the Infinity Saga going on. I just think Avengers did a hell of a lot more. I'm going to say Avengers. I've already said I can't. Yeah, it's, I, can't I don't know if that thing. swayed you or not. But I mean, I agree. Black Panther was fucking killmonger. Just, uh, and, and Andy Circus again, it was an amazing film, but it should have been just did a little bit more for the whole franchise. Where again, the Black Panther was a, it was a big film for, you know. It was a big film. It was a for, brilliant film. Yeah. And that's why I'm sticking with it. <laughs> oh, this is a bit. His mum's in both. Yeah. Ask mum. Mum! Would you choose the first Avengers film or Black Panther? Black Panther. Black Panther goes for it. <laughs> well, forget we get mum. She, she can be the, the, uh, the decision when the decision maker can't make a decision. Because yes. I am shit at watching films. And yes. it has mum cinema. I took it straight to the cinema. Sorry. I never had anyone to go to the cinema and watch things with. You got me. and that. Oh, sorry. Well, you've got me and Chris. I got Chris. Yay. Because oh, I, I take Chris, but I've I'm allowed to you. bring you along. I have to ask Chris if it's all right first because it's. Mm. That's fine. You two can have your own little seats, and I'll be there. She's like, "Hey, dickhead!" <laughs> From like the other side of the cinema. That's what we'll no. do. I'll, I'll go along, but together. Yeah, we go along, but together. Go along, but together. <laughs> bump in, like, oh hey, I didn't see you guys here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they all set off from the same house and that walk down the same street together. We'll walk on opposite sides of the road. Social distancing and all yeah. that. Next! Doctor Strange and Iron Man 3. You go first, sir. I'm going to say Doctor Strange on this oh, one. Thank God he said that. Iron Man 3. I didn't mind Iron Man. Um, whip guy. This is Iron Man 3. That was Iron Man 2. Is it? <laughs> but that was whiplash. A whip guy of clothes. <laughs> Where is my bird? <laughs> Where is my bird? This is not my bird. <laughs> but no, um, take his bird. <laughs> Other one. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange. It was another film that because instead of just having these normal typical battles, it took us battles on different. Like that I said to you the other day, that the Doctor Mamu fight, where he wins by keep on dying, by keep on dying. Sounds like a baby. <laughs> when he but wins, it's, like, keep on keeps coming back, Dormammu, Dormammu, and just the, oh, the visual effects. And I still think it's the only MCU film to still only have an award. Pretty sure it is. For visual effects. It's fucking outstanding. But yeah, Doctor Strange was... was I'm happy with a Doctor Strange winning there. Ah, oh, the next one's a fucking piece of piss as well. What's the next one? Um, Civil War. Or oh, Thor Dark World. I enjoyed uh, before Dark World gets slated a lot. Enjoyed it. I mean, Jesus Christ, we had Tony versus fucking Cappy Cap. That fight scene was alone between them two was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the airport battle, the introduction of Spidey, Giant Man's there. For, uh, Thor Dark World. Can't remember it, can I? <laughs> I don't it's know. the elves. You get re- introduced to the Aether, uh, the Aether. Jane goes to Asgard. Thor loses a hand. Not really. 
there are some cool moments where all these different little pools are open. He chucks Miyomi through and it's coming through different spots and then it is cool. But uh, uh, yeah, Civil War is yeah, it's fucking it's Civil, Civil War. War. Uh, oh. If I can't remember them, then that's the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? <clears throat> to be fair, his first two films were like they're all right, but. But Captain America, the first Avenger, and Thor Ragnarok. Ah, I have a winner. Captain, I'll give you first, sir. See, I, 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 I can remember Ragnarok. Because mm. <laughs> it's <sort> of recently. <laughs> yeah. um, I enjoyed that one very well. And Captain America, the first one. Yeah, the first Avenger. Where well, yeah, we got introduced to Cap. Well, obviously, we got introduced to him. And Peggy. And Peggy. And Red Skull. Let's <laughs> <Red> go. <laughs> <laughs> And the Tesseract. Tesseract, yes. It's going to have to be Captain America. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm going for Thor Ragnarok. Captain America, again, is another one that kind of gets a little bit slated. Uh, it's not one of the higher-ups, but I fucking love it. I thought it was cool as fuck. I really enjoyed it. But Thor <laughs> Ragnarok gave us Thor versus the Hulk. Yeah, it gave us comedy where no other four films. It, was. Yes, it, it, it brought us Korg and me. It, it was a four film on a completely another level, and it was so massive. It gave us Hela. It gave us the destruction of Asgard, and then it gives us the final moments before Thanos' ship arrives, destroys their ship, destroys them, and sets us up for the Infinity War and thing. Thor Ragnarok was just a massive fucking huge epic event Captain America was a good film on its own just for Cap whereas Thor Ragnarok was a great film for the whole franchise and a way to take his character to a new and yes. it was fun it was fucking hilarious from beginning to end I'm, mate I've got a funny feeling if you don't yeah I've lost any else <laughs> yeah she is uh, <laughs> she the, as as I, I mean no you've you got to go and buy us though I haven't watched Captain America for a good long while we watched it, did we not re- did we watch it recently with our... No, we didn't, we stopped at that point. We haven't watched Captain America onwards. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really odd because we had to go from Disney Plus after watching Iron Man mm. to, to yeah. find Hulk online because he's not a part of, like... No. Well, it is and it is and it's mm. fucking mm. stupid. Yeah. But he will be, eventually. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. he's still a Marvel character. Yeah. But it was an MCU film, but it was with Sony. Yeah, and he's, he's, a a Sony, he, he's owned by Sony, yeah. he's a Marvel character. How, hasn't, that, hasn't that gone through now? Hasn't it been sold? Haven't they just given them back now? Uh, I think it's the Spider-Man now. We've got uh, Venom now. We are getting a couple of other people and Hulk. Right, okay. So yeah, we are slowly getting that. British Pain. I'm going to hunt it down. Then go back on to Disney Plus after watching We're going to have them all on DVD. I don't mind the Hulk films, but I prefer fucking... Bruce. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, I prefer Mark him. Ruffalo. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. caused the Hulk. The Hulk. What do you think? Yeah. You don't like Professor Hulk, do you? Remember we did our end game review? You were yeah, overly keen, I was keen okay on Professor, on Professor Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. Yeah, so did, did Ragnarok go through? Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> Obviously, yeah. I'm the decision maker. Um, oh. Guardians Volume 2. Uh. And the first Iron Man film. No, can we take this off, please? No. I'm going to have to say Guardians Volume 2. Oh, I like mate. the whole opening scene where groups start to stance and whilst everyone's fighting, you've got this blue sky in the background. <laughs> It's brilliant. It's great. We're, 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 mate, Guardians Volume 2 is fucking it is, it's brilliant. absolutely outstanding. But we're, we're talking what is the biggest and the best and the most important. Iron yes, Man. Yes, he started off the franchise. Yeah. Yes, he is loved by a lot of people. And yes, he's father figure to Spider Man. Hmm. But without all that, it's just another guy dressing up to, to be a. Yeah, you're on about the character here, but the significance and the importance of that single film alone. If if that film doesn't work, all of these films don't get done. Two? Because obviously you've got Black Widow in it. That's she's in two. Oh, that's in the second one. Yeah. If, Iron Man, well, if Iron Man was a flop, if Iron Man I'm failed, the there would be no MCU. They'd think, ah, oh, there's no market for this superhero crap. We're not doing it. No. It wasn't a bad film. Oh, Iron Man's regarded as one of the best MCU films. But it's it's highly rated. Guardians was better. That's more comedy. It was more. It kept you. I I agree. Yeah. For me, I would rather watch Guardians Volume Two. But we're we're arguing. We're to talk about what's the biggest and most important shit. Iron Man is by far the most important. I agree. Guardians Volume Two. I'd rather watch that than I would Iron Man. But Iron Man's more important than Guardians. So I think it's going to be swayed to you. Hey. <laughs> the girl that's just done baby group 
fucking dots to dots. To dots to dots. No, I'm gonna, I, I, if you are not swayed, I'm going to have to go to B. Hello. Ah! You, yeah, you've seen them both anyway. Mm. So you can sway in on this one. I can sway in on this one. I mean, you should be happy regardless. Four Ragnarok's still in it, so... Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh. mm, I don't know. I don't know. Which film do you think is the most important out of them two? And the, 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 well, you the can't most... say the most important, because obviously the most important is Iron Man, because yeah, without Iron don't... Man, you haven't got the whole of, like... That's the that's, that's whole point. We're arguing what the biggest, most important, the most influential film... What's the biggest MCU film out of these? Because obviously Endgame's not on it. That would have to be fucking, fucking help me. What did Guardians do in terms of what did Iron Man do? I got a massive tree that can say three words. Yes. <laughs> or oh, forget about we. Uh, Dancing away. No, I, Guardians is a much better film. For me and for Chris, and that sounds it for you. Hmm. Just uh, go for Guardians. If you want to be, you're the independent thingy here. If you want to go Guardians, you go Guardians. Cool. Leave Kakarot alone. Look I just felt like Elbow in him piss off. I'm really hot. Guardians. Yeah, just put Guardians. I'm having another five. Why are you hot? Mate, I'm. To be fair, I am fair warm. Though. Yeah, I'm a bit like, sticky. Back of my knees. And he's a sicko that loves this weather. Yeah, I'm cool. Look at him with his fucking long sleeves. And his... <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I got my shoes and my jeans. Have I mean, you I mean, I mean, smoked like that? I can't. <laughs> All right, how with the duck? There's a guardian on my front. Stress is alone in that. Office. I always forget that he's in there. With Miley Cyrus. I know. She's a little head. I think they do Guardians 3000 at some point. Next! We have Guardians Volume 1 against Danger of Ultron. Uh, I'm going to say Guardians. I'm going to say Guardians because going off my Iron Man Guardians argument, Guardians prove that we can take our heroes and our adventures and not keep it earthly and take it to weird, wacky... Yeah. yeah, yeah no, it's space. It can, yeah, it shows you don't have to have these heroes, just a typical guy in a spandex in New York City saving the day. It can. Well, these mixtapes. Yeah, it can be off worldly. Mm. Yeah, it took superhero films to another plane. You can have Raccoon in the trailer team as well. Exactly. You know, and that's what I mean, that, that was a risk, that film, because every the Guardians comics, no one really read them. They just, it was, they were there, whatever, mm. no one cares. The films come out, and Jesus Christ. Mm. Next! Spider Man Homecoming and Black Panther. Hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Black Panther was a massive film for the whole. Um, yeah, it was. For, for, for the. Uh, uh, what's the movement there? The. Uh, you know, like the African Americans and stuff. And yes. like having a film for them to be for able them. to celebrate. Yes. But at the same time, on the other side of that argument, because I'm like. As a comic book fan, I'm like, I don't give a shit about race and all that kind of shit. I'm just happy that this is doing mint for comic book fans who got slated for years and years and years. So it, it did, it was a, for a whole movement, it was a massive film. Uh, Spider-Man, in terms of in terms of how big it was, it was able to branch two different companies and universes and tie them together. Yeah. And bring it all in one. Um, I think, though, in my, my, sticking with my original argument, I have to go for Black Panther. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Black Panther. It, 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 it did help a lot of shit. Obviously, Spider Man's my favourite out of the two, but just Black Panther was a bit more significant. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that hurt. Oh. Um, oh. Um, Doctor Strange and Civil War. I love you, Doctor Strange, but Civil War. I haven't seen Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> what I have, I can't fucking remember these shit. Uh, it's a bit with Spider-Man, wasn't it? It's only a bit you need to see. And the rules. Uh, see, Doctor Strange is... I think I have to go with Doctor Strange. Because without his abilities, we wouldn't have a lot of things. No, you're right. <laughs> but when was the last time you went to the cinema to watch a superhero film where it's usually superhero fights villain villain loses everyone with happy days this is the first time in comic books 
the film history where it was all fractured. We, we ended with Cap and Iron Man on not the same page. Right? We, we went watching Hero vs. Hero. There was a villain in there with um, um, Baron Zemo. Mm-hmm. But we watched two of the biggest comic characters in cinema history oh, fighting each other. It wasn't just your typical, I'm going to save the day, I'm going to take over the world. It was, no, hero versus hero. And it was a proper... It was a brilliant film. Blood fucking thing. But in fact, it's not even, ignore them. That that fight scene at the, the airport alone, just, it, it wins. Yeah. It's fucking... Yeah, I think you have so weird. Meh. I mean, Cap vs. Iron Man on the big screen. Doctor Strange was fucking phenomenal. And like, like I said, Dormammu. Dormammu. Oh shit. Dormammu. I can't spell. Oh, oh this one does actually get tight, you know. What was that? Thor Ragnarok and Guardians Volume 2. Thor and Guardians. What can we get on the Guardians 2? Is it your daddy? Hmm. These are kind of similar films in in one sense. Yeah, they both go the to humor, space. They both space. Got their own thing. Uh, a new sort of weird team up because you got to this whole team four with yeah, Hulk, four Valkyrie, Loki. You got the Guardians doing their thing. Yeah. Oh shit! The one that did the biggest damage. I think Thor losing his hair sent a lot of people fucking insane. I remember when it first happened. Oh my god, he's lost his hair. Or his family was the haircut as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, the Guardians also added to the team like and Nebula. Asgard. I mean, blew up as well. Asgard blew up. Of God. We found out about more about Star Lord, how he wasn't just pure human, how his dad was a big planet that shagged a lot of different women over different planets. <laughs> Some foundations are still there. <laughs> no, it's been initially gone. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm going to have to say for Ragnarok because it, it led us into the Infinity War. Yeah, I might have to agree. Because I enjoyed Guardians. I yeah, well, though, without it, no one would have. That first film with Hela in it? Hmm? Yeah, no one would have known who she was. If you don't read comic books, obviously, don't you? Mm. Yeah, I think I've got Thor. Oh, V! <laughs> to be fair, I'm, I'm my winner in my head is there, but... It's your Spider-Man, isn't it? Spider-Man's out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got Guardians and Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking horrible, this. I'm trying so hard to get my favourites away and just go from what impact they had. On the MCU and films as a whole. Again, Black Panther, the yeah. the African American lot, that's what like, helped that. Really. Yeah, it was massive for a real life mm. movement. Uh, Guardians. It was just massive for us, closet nerd. Not even closet, I'm not closet, yeah. I'm an ocean nerd. <laughs> First. I'm not a nerd, what do you live want live to have? I'm not stressing all around people. Living at home, it was just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's terms of significance. Well, Guardians expanded the MCU universe a hell of a lot, but so did Black Panther. It gave us a new continent, it gave us new technology, it gave, not a new continent, a new country. What are you doing? <laughs> new <laughs> weapons, new characters. I mean, the fight in Infinity War, one of them, is, is literally in Wakanda. It gave us the likes of Shuri and Okoye and stuff. Mm-hmm. Ulysses Claw was explored a little bit more. It gave us Killmonger, who I think you said, or you said might be returning. Um, I'm going to have to take Black Panther. I think I might have to agree. Black Panther. Yeah. Black Panther. I never freeze. Civil War and Thor Ragnarok. I'm gonna say it. I'm sorry, but Civil War. Why haven't we seen Civil War? Civil War was just. I guess it changed what a comic book film has to be. A comic book film, you was always the same. The acts were all the same. Hero comes, you introduce. Save they the have day. a downfall. Save the day. Away we go. But not not this time around. We have our hero versus our hero. Hero versus you had hero. Divides. You had hashtag Team Iron Man, hashtag Team Captain America. You had the introduction to one of the biggest superheroes ever <laughs> inside of this team, being Spider Man. You had uh, the, 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 the dynamic between when Ant Man meets uh, Captain America yeah. and stuff. It's like, yeah, no, yeah. So, yeah, it's got to be Civil War. Civil War. 
Oh, as you eat your hair. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Korg. Sorry, B. And now it comes down to the Black Panther and who's even in Civil War. So without him being introduced Civil War, you don't lead on to Black Panther. Sorry, that is the final one. Civil War, Black Panther. What are your thoughts, Chris? I rambled on the last round. You always ramble. Yeah, yeah. I am Kevin Smith. He is I'm Kevin sorry. Smith. But I have a lot of information to give out. Yeah, and plus he helps me because I can't remember shit. Yes, <laughs> I kind of need to. Right, so we've got Civil War. Yep. And we have Black Panther. Yes. To determine. To determine. What is the biggest MCU film out of this list? Yes, we wouldn't have Black Panther without Civil War. Mm-hmm. But again, I'm going off what it impacted people. And again, I'm going off how it impacted the race of the African Americans, where it just, when they finally announced they had an all black film and they all went ballistic because they've always wanted an all black film. And do you remember the fucking the knobheads that were protesting yes. it and shit like that? Yes. But on the same the same side, there was a knobhead uh, in the cinema who kicked somebody out and said, "No, sorry, this is a film for only black people." And you're like, "Go, go fuck yourself." This is a, before mm. before racism and shit coming to That's America, though. They this probably is a, are. This is a film for us fucking nerds. Yes. So first and foremost, on that synopsis. I'm going to have to say Black Panther. I, it's hard to disagree with that. Uh, it did did one for, for a whole race of people and shit like that. It, it helped the MCU develop because, you know, you know, we're going into our female leads. We're going into our, our all-black cast. We're going into all the Square Shenanigans. But Civil War changed the dynamic of storytelling uh, through any of the films, through superhero films, through comic book films, through the MCU, how they can now tell their stories. It changed It changed everything for nerd culture and pop culture and, oh, and so much shit. Yeah. I'm going to have to say Civil War because, again, it was it was two, not just comic book characters, two of the biggest cinema characters now of all time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Chris Evans is Captain America, again, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, brought to the big screen. And it just caused absolute havoc. It did. It didn't just do stuff for a certain amount of people. It did stuff for everybody. I'm saying Civil War. Um, so it comes out of you, Rebecca. I know you haven't seen one of these films. Shit. I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't see both of them. To be fair, we, we, we can ask mum again, but she, my mum adores Black Panther. She fucking loved it. Yeah, I know she does. Um, but I mean, if you're not swayed, nah, I mean, I'm gonna stick with Black Panther. I think it was a more of an iconic. Yeah, thing. you want? Yeah, yeah I think uh, it's just. Affected people more. It is hard to argue that, like, um, but you know, I, I, for me, I'm going to have to Civil War. So we're going to shout out to Mum. Will we agree with Mum? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a nice little horn noise. <laughs> Mother, Captain America: Civil War or the Black Panther? Oh, Captain America: Civil War. She said, "Fair enough." I'm quite shocked at that. I genuinely thought you were going Black Panther. Civil War it is, which is it is a coin toss. I remember when, uh, who, who did it, who took the piss out of uh, uh, Black Panther? Oh, it's uh, South Park, uh, where Cartman's going around and he's got his token, he's the only black character in South Park, he's like, um, he's trying to say, people, oh, people don't really like Black Panther and your token hasn't seen it, and he's like, oh my God, you're black and you haven't seen it and all this kind of shit, they've probably taken the piss out of it, it's hilarious, because a lot of people are like, is it really that good or are we just trying to say it's that good mm. so we don't seem a bit racist? And that, which I disagree with. You don't like the film. You don't like the film. That's what I mean. But, but no. critique it on the story. But remember how much controversy it caused. No, oh, we yeah. talked about it yes, fucking loads. Definitely, a lot of people were kicking off. Yeah. Course. It was like, well, why do they get an all black film? <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Yeah. But no, regardless of what colour you are, where you're from, it was a I brilliant a film. Oh. <laughs> I actually thought she was making one of them. So did I. I was yeah. gonna. I, thought she was yeah. there. <laughs> I agree with you though, Chris. It's. For me, it's yeah. a f- first. It's a film for comic book fans. Black Panther has been in comic book history for years, and as comic book fans are finding it injustice and retribution and mm-hmm. the praise that we well not we need, but the praise that this stuff that we love needs. Yes. But yeah, it did do a thing. But yeah, I, I, I'm still on Civil War side just because of what actually happened in that film. What it did. Because I mean, we went on to do Batman v Superman, the two most probably biggest. There we go. Comic book characters of all time fighting. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, Civil War. I, I was going to say it's one down our old winners, but now I really am forgetting. Star Wars. 
Pikachu. Pikachu. Lion King. Lion King. Batman. Or was it the Joker when we did combo characters? Bat- I think it was Batman. 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 It was a TV show one, wasn't it? We never did TV shows. Mm-hmm. Who, TV who won the ultimate TV show? Was it Two and a Half Men? No. Yeah, there's been lots of winners. <laughs> Fucking can't remember. Well done, Beef, you're nicely writing. I'm going to go shower. We're going to go to Asda. I'm going to brush my teeth because I feel lots of coffee and fat stains on them. Fucking horrible when you have loads. You'd be one of the three then. Write on it then. She's a fucking narc. Uh, but yeah, thank you, visuals. Let us know what you think out of that list. What is it? What would you? What film would you go for out of all of them? Out oh, the whole entire MCU. Yeah. I don't know. I, I can't decide between Endgame or Infinity War. It has to be one of them two. Endgame, yeah, because it's the most highest grossing film of all time. But Infinity War, we ended. With everybody, the, the, our heroes lost, and we had to leave the cinema yeah. with the bad guy. Yeah, well, the, the, still the heroes lost regardless. Mm. We, we had to leave the cinema with the bad guy sat there victorious, and we're like, "What the fuck?" And that never ever happens rarely in cinema. Fair enough, we knew there was a part two coming and yeah. stuff, but and an end game that that fucking fight. I can't decide. It's one of them two is the biggest MCU film without a fucking shadow of a doubt. Captain America stood there. Yeah. About to face Thanos. And then you've got Doctor Strange on. Yeah, on your left. On your left. It just, yeah. But I mean, Endgame brought everything. Well, no, Tekken. Te- no, yeah, Endgame brought everything together and then Spider Man, which is kind of still weird. You made me they this side face forward Spider Man. I'm still kind of in two minds about whether they should have put that in phase four or ended with in phase three with Spider Man. Yeah, it's weird having it after. Yeah, I mean, no, having it after is fine, but not the last film in the the Infinity Saga. The last film in Infinity Saga should have been Endgame, yeah. and then Phase Four should have continued with yeah, Spider Man. Phase Four. Yeah, but everyone got it. How we did? Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you little cutie. There we go. Videos. Captain America: Civil War. Uh, let's know what you think in the comments below. And as I get my ear chowed off, I'm gonna go shout out. <laughs> Paper cut. Paper cuts are horrible. It's just thank you for listening. Always keep it in here. Keep on keeping it on. Love you back. Okay, that's fine. That was so cheesy, wasn't it? Oh, hell. Hey, don't stab me with your ninja star. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>